Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Brent Bruning. I'm a master hand analyst from the International Institute of Hand Analysis. I've studied more than 20,000 hands and personally read about 2,000 people to show them that their, what is their life pattern, what are their talents, and how to break through their life purpose. Today I'll be featuring Simon Leviev. Uh, he is a very interesting person who has been featured in a documentary on Netflix called The Tindler Swindler. And I want to present both sides. He has been in a relationship with Kate Conlon, uh, a very beautiful model uh, in Israel. He is free. And, and, um, and uh, so obviously Kate was able to hear his side of the story and was able to uh, testify as well as you hear some pretty, pretty uh, um, vicious um, um, testaments to the people that lost an incredible amount of money uh, from the girls that he, quote, swindled. So I would like to show how this could have even happened from uh, Simon's side, as well as what it's like to be with him from the perspective of the hand. Now, the story is that Simon borrowed from Peter to pay for Paul. He got himself into an interesting uh, problem presenting himself as uh, a pretty luxurious um, a man living a pretty luxurious lifestyle. If you go and check out uh, his um, his tender, uh, you would find that he has he's living a pretty amazing life. He's got um, you know a pretty much all of the amenities that a man would want around him and surrounding himself with beautiful cars, helicopters, women, et cetera. And I think anybody would be inspired by that type of life, including him. And, and so when you look at this, um, this is what he was presenting on uh, Tinder. And they say that a man uh, marries a woman and a, uh, uh, a woman marries a man's life. Well, I mean, just check out this life uh, that he's been traveling around country to country, uh, you know, having a bodyguard. So obviously he's um, presenting himself as needing security. All right. So uh, let's get to the hand analysis. So Simon is got a power and I'm going to show what his power is and you might have this power too so first you have to understand that his hand is very long long fingers long palm this is what I characterize as an air hand so I have all of these hands on my computer and one of the things I do is I organize people by uh, hand shape. And when you see all the people with long fingers and long palms, there's a certain character trait that starts to come out. They're all extremely uh, intelligent and uh, rational. And in some cases, they're pretty nice guys. I mean, you just look at Ryan Reynolds, uh, Gordon uh, Levitt, you got Edward Snowden. I mean, they're, those are our gentlemen, right? And certainly he presents himself in this tribe, they all have long fingers, and long palms. You can look at other videos when that changes, the whole persona changes. So in other words, the hand shows your personality. And, and when you look at him, he has two heart lines. This is this horizontal line that is a traverse line that comes from, it's the top horizontal line that comes across it, all, all the, uh, just below all the fingers. And he has a rational heart line. And people with that have an ability to um, replay scenarios and not show emotions, like be level-headed in the situation and always try to see the sense of the situation. So he has that, but he also has two heart lines, which means he has actually two different ways of emotional expression. The second is a passionate heart that rises up. Now, it's not unusual to have two heart lines. Um, but when you see that it, how straight the other one is, that goes into what we call a simian heartline. It's a radical focus. 
Now you'll have to excuse the hand is a little bit blurry because that's the best I have, but you can clearly see this through the, the imagery of, of that there is a deeply, deeply intense side and a rational side or considerate side. Now, both are very appealing for a woman. He can be very sexy and passionate and tense and fun and outgoing. And then on the other side, he can be polite and pull out the chair. So the other thing is from here, you can see there's a really nice indention of a line down uh, from the outer part of the palm. That's the formation of the start of his heart line. And that is the area of the sex zone. And when it gets that deep, then you have somebody that is using that energy, just like a muscle, a lot. So it's an, it's an incredible amount of intensity there. You have people who have like lines coming out of that. Those are flirt markers. And look how round the lifeline is, right? So if it's really round, in other words, you could draw, uh, you could take a cup and just draw the outline of that cup around that lifeline. Uh, that is this the sign of somebody who likes to make people feel really good. It's a very charming uh, animal magnetism. It gives you a high amount of social uh, EQ. Uh, it allows you to work with, um, you know, being able to, to uh, present very well and, and give people a sense of harmony. It's very seducing. It's very enjoyable. And, you know, that's the type of life you would love to live. A very, uh, one that has high taste. Add that to the fact that his ring finger reaches above a certain threshold. So the way to know if you have a tall ring finger is if you take the top of your middle finger and divide it in half, and if it goes above that, then you have somebody who is loving to be the center of attention, is very focused on appearances, as well as look how long these middle portions of his fingers are, right? So this is the area of showmanship. This is where I, if there's the middle fingers around uh, the, what we call the acorn zone of saving and, and showing how much money you have and your ego can be or your identity can be um, um, attached to a lot of materialism when you have a long re region here same thing for the for the ring finger it doesn't mean you have money but you certainly like to see be to flaunt it okay now he has a, a interesting bend. You notice that his pinky is like a banana here, right? This is the area of communication. Your pinky does not bend naturally that way. It's a sign of guardedness, of being skeptical uh, and protective of the people around you, wanting to uh, um, create a wall, uh, having a level of uh, distrust. It's like having, you know, a, a, a full... Um, body check as you go into the airport well that's how he is with people and, and getting them uh, and helping them see who he really is so that doesn't mean that you're distrustful it just means that you're guarded and he has a very long thumb that means he's quite determined has a lot of willpower look how this is a short how short his uh, headline so the headline is the one that if you take the, the horizontal heart line that may go up around your the, the top one that goes up in the top of your palm. Well, there's one right between the lifeline and the heart line, and that's the headline. And that gets formed at around 10 weeks before you can even bend your hands. It's, it's formed when you develop your frontal cortex. And that is super short, right? So Ricky Gervais has a super short headline, and these people are super quick on their feet, really, really seeing, um, not really caring about the consequences if you've ever watched uh, Ricky at the award show. So uh, it's like they don't really need a, t a long flashlight to see the consequences, that, but they're really uh, quick on their feet. So you see that with like stock brokers have a lot of that. So let's combine that, all right? So what would it be if someone was intellectual, rational, they love nice things. They like visibility. They have a strong, strong sex drive. They're ma magnetic in character. The change of heart, they go from uh, literally two 
different almost identities when the emotions take over. Uh, you can kind of say it's, it's a di totally different mood, a really passionate mood and a super polite, rational mood. And in the negative, that can be, you know, angry and intense or cold, right? And then there's this garden side. Now, all of that, in fairness to, to Simon and anyone who has this, uh, that doesn't mean that you're um, a swindler, but you certainly have traits that say, I can be quite persuasive and I am um, very guarded and I can keep secrets this way. And uh, I can give people a pretty great experience. We see this hand type and this combination and a lot of people in uh, sales. Now, Simon is in real estate apparently. And so I think he'd be pretty good at that. Uh, giving people the lifestyle that they would love to have at the cost of, um, you know, maybe some karma. Now, where's the karma, right? How could I guess that he was in a difficult story that he was? Well, there I would need to know the fingerprints. And the fingerprints tell you a more, uh, a, a, both a, a challenge in your life as well as a life purpose. And those, when they combine with this ego that you see, or this identity, I mean, this is how he presents himself to you and he, how he sees himself. And there's no more powerful force in the universe than to wake up consistent with your identity, right? But there may be a force within you, a, a soul pattern or soul path that has you repeat these mistakes over and over and over. And you don't even know how to get out of it, as well as you might be getting a kick out of it. There, I, I guess, and if Simon, you're list, listening to this, you look at your right middle finger, you might have a tenant arch or an upside down T on your right middle finger. Um, and that is, um, and you might even have it on the left. And that's the feeling like there's never enough. I don't have enough. Otherwise you've been a content in, you know, going on a, a, a general 5% increase path of your life. But here you wanted the big bang. It's not enough, right? And there's, and even when you had that style, it wasn't enough, right? You had those girls and it wasn't enough. That's the area right here where the fingerprint gets compressed down. And that is your nervous system at seven weeks when your soul or consciousness enters your body and compresses that area and says, life has to be painful and I'm going to be guilty anyway. So I might as well do something that uh, personally satisfies me. I don't know. I'd have to see his fingerprints. Certainly he's shown a very loving side and probably he has a circle on his right index finger to be the big shot and uh, to be able to uh, play a pretty big game. He probably has a circle on his right ring finger as well. Says he gets great satisfaction being seen as somebody of a celebrity. So um, I hope that you enjoy that. If I was to put this all together, I would say he has power of charm and captivation. Okay, uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.